Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I hope you're all doing well. This is a channel for Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if you are new, please welcome and please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my channel, I upload um, Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And every weekend, you get a weekend reading from me. Okay, um, as usual, be mindful always that these are general messages. Uh, whatever fits, let it fit, and what doesn't, just leave the rest. All right, I'm going to start off with general to see what the general messages are here for you, Virgo, for the month of June, and then we're going to go straight or segue into love. Okay, so hello everyone in the chat. Hello to all of the moderators. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, general message for Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, first card out. Oh, you've got Earth. Utilizing your logic, reason, and common sense, Virgo. Very, oh, okay. Oh, and you also have the stars. A long journey brings rewards. Wow. So definitely, <laughs> Virgo, reaching the heights of your dreams, the height of your dreams, the... Um, it's been a long journey, but it seems to me what they're saying here is with your ability to, you're going to get where you need to go through using your logical brain, reasoning, and using common sense. And that feels to me like, you know, if you're shooting for the stars in any area of your life, Virgo, especially in the month of June, don't rely on your emotional brain. <laughs> because your emotional brain will be, at times, uh, it, it's too fickle. Your emotions at times can be quite fickle. If you, if you base every decision you make um, on your emotions, one day you may be yes, the next day you may be no. It really just depends. And there are certain situations that aren't going to require your emotions to be involved. You'll have to be able to figure out which ones those are. You know, for example, you may want to, some of you may be thinking about buying a new car. And the emotional side of you really likes the color. You really like the look of the car. It, 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 you feel that that's the car for you, but is it a logical decision? based on your finances, um, will you have payments, these things. So I feel like you'll get where you need to be, whatever decision you're making or whatever you are shooting for by relying on that part of your brain that utilizes the logic, okay? Um, this, there's some kind of a long journey, so this doesn't have to be a material thing. There's something that you see or you will be seeing in June that it's one of those re shoot for the stars moment <clears throat> something that you may have wanted for a long time or you've been seeking um, to acquire um, it could be a position in your somewhere in career position uh, or positioning yourself somewhere where you're closest to the stars could involve stars um, so yeah, it feels like the, the overall message there is use your common sense and your good judgment um, as you take some type of journey here towards whatever it is you're trying to acquire. Okay, so you have the green man. The forces of nature favor you. So this feels like a message mostly. Let me just get one more card for that. Okay, and you have water. Okay, emotions are at their peak. Yeah, okay. So they're basically saying... So I do feel like whatever the situation does have an emotional aspect to it. Okay, there is an emotional... Something emotional attached to this. Um, so it feels like... I don't, let me see how... Uh, they're, they're giving me like sitting by a lake or being somewhere in, say... Um, somewhere in nature I feel like the message here is when it comes to your emotions save them um, I have to change my battery in my thing here save your emotions for 
the special moments that you can enjoy them or that you can um, feel them. I Because I, I'm, I'm not getting a sense that your emotions are going to serve you in any other way other than where they are placed, uh, where they need to be placed. They're not, so your emotions, are they're saying, are not going to serve you in some major logical decision. So in other words, it's kind of like, okay, you've got your work week and you've got things that you have to deal with and do and paperwork or things you have to sort out. That's, that's the place for where all your logic needs to come in. But say on the weekend, you want to go sit by the sea or do some vacationing or go into hiking in the mountains or, you know, um, trailing or whatever it is that has an emotional effect. Save those, your emotions for those times, right? So it's kind of like there's a place, a time and a place for everything. Um, they're saying don't blend them. That's the overall message here. Don't blend them. Okay. And you also have <laughs> the spider. So be meticulous and patient here. So the spider obviously is, you know, a creature that creates a web. Maybe some of you are building a website or you're, you're building something for a business. Um, the spider creates a web. It's very delicate. They're very meticulous when they create something um, very rote. It's very persevering, persistent, consistent. This, what the spider creates is it's a hard, it's a hard job, but it, the spider will keep doing it until it's complete. All right. So whatever you're doing here, this is a message. Whatever you have, you're, you're working on. Be patient in this situation. Keep seeing it through. Keep creating, keep building, but use your logic as you're building, okay? And then take that time that you need to release the emotions because while you are, whatever this situation is or whatever you're trying to reach this pinnacle, um, they're saying don't let your emotions get in the way with that, but understand that that means for a little bit you're going to have to put your emotions aside in order to complete some task but don't suppress your emotions so much so that they don't ever come up because they will fester and they can rot if you just leave them. So take that time that you need um, away from what you're trying to do here to relax, go have a drink, spend some time with friends, release those emotions at the right time. So it's more like being more meticulous and separating um, your logic, your common sense, and your reasoning from your emotions. Because you will have that here, as it says, emotions are at their peak. You will reach that peak, um, even if it's a reward of some so sort that you might re be receiving in June, which I do feel like that's going to come for you. Um, then it's like, okay, I, I've reached that place that I've, I needed to reach and now I can celebrate. And that's when you can let your emotions out to celebrate. So I feel like just maintain some type of balance in your emotions as you're driving and striving for these stars, okay? So that's really what I feel like is happening here. You are, whatever you're working towards um, with logic, I feel like you're there's something here uh, it's been a long journey and there's something here that you will be receiving where there will be um, an opportunity to celebrate, okay? Or to just <sighs> exhale. You know, I talk about exhale all the time. You'll be able to say, <sighs> now I can let my emotions out. Now I can, now I can just release, okay? So it, I don't know what it is exactly that you're doing, obviously. I'm not going to go into depth about what your situation is because I think you know um, but just try to stay on the the track keep the trains on the logic track during this time period okay because you you are you're gonna receive all right let's get into your love reading all right let's see what does Virgo need to know for love so the, that first general reading is it it has a lot to do more so not so much with love um, finance career maybe health things like that um, the everyday tasks um, whatever you're working on at this time 
All right, let's take a look here. See what love is. Okay, you've got the phoenix. Beautiful. New phase, rekindling, renewal, transformation, growth, and a changed mind. Okay. And, oh wait, you've got the mirror again. Didn't we have this yesterday? I swear this happened yesterday or the day before. Uh, mirroring each other, self-image relationships, reflecting our wounds and introspection. And then you have the dragonfly. You know what? They said get one more. So we're going to pull one more. And then you have the axe. Okay. Um, so the dragonfly. Hmm. Being lighthearted, finding something out, something coming to light, adapting, changing, and healing. And the axe has something to do with a breakup or a separation or stopping some kind of pattern. There might be silent treatment or abandonment. Somebody here is cutting a situation out in order to be able to take flight is what I feel. This is two energies here. These are not all together. These are two energies. So you've got somebody here, Virgo, who whatever you do, they're going to do. If you're not talking to somebody, they're not talking to you. If you try to renew something with someone, they'll try to renew it with you. Right now, I feel like you're not trying to renew anything with anyone. And so you've got somebody else, um, whoever that person is, who is also not trying to renew it either. This is like a copycat energy. It's almost like somebody here is whatever you're okay with, they're okay with. Whatever you want to do, they'll do it. This is not someone who takes a lead. This is not someone who's going to initiate. This is not someone who is going to um, make the first move. Um, whatever moves you make, they will copy and they will go along with that. Right now, it seems to me in June, you are um, adapting to something, making changes, you're healing. Uh, you might be breaking up with someone in June, or there was uh, there's already a separation, or you separate from someone, stopping some kind of pattern. I feel like you're you're. I don't know who this person is. Hold on a second. So yeah, I don't know exactly who this person is, but it kind of feels to me like um, whatever you want. They'll want it too. Maybe you know them. I don't know. My lights are going to stay on. Maybe you know them. Maybe you don't. Maybe you will. Maybe you will meet them. You might meet them or you might have heard someone say whatever you whatever you want, Virgo. I'm down. Whatever you want to do, I'll, I'll do it too. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a weird message. I don't think I've ever gotten a message like this. Um, if you're sad, they'll be sad. If you're happy, they'll be happy. Um, it's like somebody who's almost so much in alignment with you that they don't have their own identity. There's no opposition. This is, this might even be more along the lines of like someone who's maybe a people pleaser or someone who just kind of, that might be a pattern that you're stopping. You might have someone who just mirrors your energy. You know, if, if you say, if you say bacon, they say bacon. They don't say uh, <laughs> what kind of bacon. They just copy you. Um, you know, if, if you tell this person that you like a, tip, like a particular type of car, uh, they'll say, yeah, I like that too. <laughs> um, there's no, <clears throat> there's, there's no, it feels like there's a lack of identity here with another person. That, that's what that mirroring energy is. Somebody mirroring you. Maybe you already know who this person is. Maybe you're both mirroring each other. Hmm. That's interesting. That's a very interesting message. Okay, but somebody, this feels more like you. You're, you're stopping this pattern um, or will be. Um, and I, I'm not sure. So if somebody is not talking to you, you might start talking to them. I'm feeling like you're putting in opposition. 
But then again, <laughs> whatever opposition you put in, and then they will adapt and go with it. <laughs> There's somebody here who is lacking a brain. Um, they don't seem to have any conviction or something they're like, it's almost as if they if they were to go opposite in you, then they might lose you. That's what I feel like this message is. <laughs> There's a very agreeable energy. Uh, let's take a look and see who this person is. This, somebody, this person does not like confrontation. They don't want to ruffle any feathers. They're, they're not a rock the boat kind of person. Okay? If, if you don't want to be or talk to them or be with them anymore, they'll say, okay, I, I don't want that either. <laughs> Think what the hell is this shit? All right, let's get into this reading. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Okay. So you've got the death card. Huh. Seven of Pentacles. Deep contemplation. Hmm. I think this person is kind of getting the some idea that you are changing. And you're moving on um, and I think this person is seeing that and wow okay so they're just telling me this person sits in a position of too much thinking and not enough action okay they're gonna take action though actually this is weird um, but it, it's going to be so darn slow. It's like watching a clock. The clock is moving, but if you keep watching, or watching a, you know, a pot of water boiling, it, it's like waiting. It's like there's a lot of waiting energy. The Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. If you, so, if you're done with something here, are you, you know, going forward, meet someone, or there's whatever's going on in your life, and you're like, no, this is just. You're, you're ready to take flight and you don't want to do this. I feel like this person is, is they're not going to run, um, but I feel like they are right now going into June kind of like, oh, maybe I should take a step forward, which is the opposite of what they do, which is them pursuing. But they're not running. Yeah, so you're going to get some kind of message, phone call, text. Um, they'll say something to you face to face. Um, that could be an apology you're getting from someone here. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but it's kind of childlike. Not childish, but childlike. Um, this person is not someone who steps out of their comfort zone very often in personal love relationships. Hardly at all. But I do feel like this person does not want to something to end. Um, and they are going to... They are going to take a very small baby step, like a childlike step toward you. Um, that's the opposite of what you, you're, you're doing. But it's not a huge grand scale. This person, this is not a soapbox type of person. This is not someone who's going to, you know, uh, this is not someone who's going to do a bloody stump move. They might do like a pinky stump move. This is not a bloody stump person. Um, there's a lot of hesitation which is what I feel like the Seven of Pentacles is. They're, they're very apprehensive to step out of their comfort zone. They, this is someone who I feel like there's a lot of insecurity, and which is why um, if, if you are not interested or you're not pursuing or anything like that, then they're just going to say, okay, but something here is telling me, or if you will pursue them and you want to be with they'll say, okay, but something here is telling me there's a shift. Um, there's a, a very small, it's very tiny, it's very micro, it's a micro shift towards you as far as like, you know, the, this relationship coming to an end or this connection coming to an end. Yeah, there's the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, it could be a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Yeah, okay, so they're saying that Spirit's telling me this person is going to make this micro shift towards you because they know that you're you're you have another light source that you're going to or another direction or you're or you're just basically you've either left or you're leaving. You you're moving on and it's a difficult transition for you and I feel like this person realizes that um or will realize that 
This is a transition you must make because they're not doing anything. They're not meeting you halfway. Um, and they're also realizing here, or will be, going through the month of June that if they don't do something, anything, anything, um, they're gonna, that's, it's lost forever, okay? So, I'm gonna have to tell you, there's gonna be some kind of reach out, definitely. Might even be like a small apology. It's very micro. Um, what you decide to do with that obviously is up to you. If you've already got your mind made up, well then, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, but understand you might miss this micro. Um, it doesn't mean you need to get out your magnifying glass or call in the FBI to try to investigate, you know, what somebody, what someone's trying to do, or it, it might just be kind of, it feels like an under the radar move, um, or an anonymous move in some way you could be getting, um, somebody trying to reach, you know, reach out to you, but in, in very indirectly, very indirect ways. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups here, Cancer Scorpio Piscean energy, the Two of Cups and the Three of Cups. I feel like this person, is their intentions is to try to have a come together with you um, or some kind of reunion. I, I just get a sense that somebody here, I don't feel like it's like a negative thing. I feel like someone doesn't want to displease you. Um, they don't want to disappoint you. Um, they want you to make the decisions, <laughs> but they have really no input um, as far as what they want. They may have trouble expressing their needs, or they may just, you know, if you say, well, I don't want to do this relationship, they're not going to fight. They just say, okay. And they just let, you know what I mean? Like they just let you go. Um, as something here tells me that you are fully letting go, or you already have, are you you know you're fully letting go in June and I feel like this person is now you know really contemplating like gosh I like coming to terms with like if I don't like I have to do something or this is gonna die here with the death card this is gonna be it so it's a micro expression a micro step in your direction um, if you are, if you are, if you have any reservation about this relationship with this person and you feel like there's something that you don't fully, you know, like some of you just say, I don't care if somebody comes back or whatever they do at this point, it's too late. Uh, it's done. Um, there's no resuscitation. And some of you could also be saying that, but deep in your heart, um, you know, you still wish to have something happen with someone. Um, so if, if, if you're the latter part where there's someone that you're not fully given up on, if this you feel like this is your twin flame or um, some other karmic cycles you went through or something happened, um, if this is something that you still want, you, you may have to keep your eyes peeled a little bit for this indirect childlike approach. Um, it could even be this person for some of you saying, uh, f friendship, um, trying, this is someone's way of trying to stay connected. Okay. If you don't want a romantic relationship, they may say, well, maybe we could just be friends. Um, but that's bullshit <laughs> because from this reading and then the context of the cards and the messages spirits giving me, this person wants more. Um, and they'll settle for something, anything from you, anything, whatever you're willing to do, they'll be willing to do. If you say, okay, friends is fine. They'll say that then they'll say, okay, friends is fine. But in their heart, they're like, oh, Virgo's, Virgo's going to stay, you know, they just don't want to let you go. But it seems like if you decide that you're going to, that you guys are going to like try, like if you say, okay, we'll be in a relationship. I want to be in a relationship and they agree. You're still going to have to make all the moves in the relationship. It's almost as if you've got someone who's childlike, 
this person's very childlike. They need to be told what to do. They need to be told how to be in this relationship with you. Virgo, the message I'm getting here is if they're not initiating or they're not making any kind of moves to contribute to the relationship, they'll mirror what you do, but they're not going to initiate. This is the weirdest reading I have ever done. They'll mirror what you do, but they are not going to sit down and creatively come up with ideas and creatively initiate things like that. Um, it feels like the scales are tipped more. I'm just looking at the Six of Pentacles here. Um, the Six of Pentacles, if this card shows up, I'll, I'll just be floored. But I'm looking up on my wall. I have a picture of the Six of Pentacles. They just showed me. Um, and the Six of Pentacles, even though it's reciprocal energy, there's a balance of power, a, a lack of balance of power in the Six of Pentacles because it's a position of one person who's standing up and giving to beggars. <laughs> And the beggars are down there and say, yes, please, sir, anything, I'll do anything. <laughs> just don't, you know, just keep giving. What it, so the, the power is in, within you. So I don't know. I, I, I'm not really sure how I, how I feel about this reading. I, I'm just giving these messages. And I think that I don't know that Virgo's like... <laughs> Yeah, I'll take it. I don't really feel like Virgo. I'm not getting the energy that you're someone who wants to dictate the way a relationship goes or have to tell somebody or, or have someone who's, you know, it's like a, it's like a mother-son, father-daughter relationship is what I feel like it is. Oh my God, you guys. Six of Pentacles just popped out. Do you see what I'm saying? This is like, I, I told you, I said, listen, I'm connected. I'm telling you, my readings are real. And here you go. Six of Pentacles. Father giving to the children or a mother giving to the children. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> Virgo. Sometimes these messages, I, I don't even know what to say. If you didn't, if you didn't see that, rewind the video back and you'll see how that just popped up. That was clear confirmation here that there's um, the balance of power. You're the one in control. You're the one with the power. Here's the six of cups. Okay, two sixes. So this person, definitely a reunion. This person does not want to let you go. They want to try to reconcile something and whatever you want, they'll, they'll want. But you wanting to completely leave... Um, if you make a decision later that it's done, they will agree to it, but then sit back and say, no, this is not what I want. I got to take some little kind of step forward towards Virgo. And you also have the King of Wands. So you could be connecting with a fire sign as well. So I have water, earth, and fire. And all you're missing is air. <laughs> all right, so Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And it's interesting because... The King of Wands is generally very bold and alpha and is in a leadership role. Um, show me what this is here. Oh, okay. Little one. So, you know, okay. So this person who, you know, perhaps the one area that they have um, any spunk about them or spontaneity or the area where it looks like they are an initiator or pursuer was when it comes to the physical passions. So that could be the area in a connection here where this person takes the lead. Otherwise, everything else, the emotions, the finances, um, or the emotions in the career, the feelings, they kind of take a step back. Whatever you want, they want. But when it comes to the physical pleasure, I feel like, uh, I feel like they take the lead in that area or will take the lead in that area. This is an interesting thing. Yeah, this person might be passive aggressive, definitely. Or they might just be very passive in most areas and then very aggressive in that one particular area. How does this person feel? What are the emotions or feelings this person may have for Virgo? Hold on, get 
turn my volume down a little bit. All right, what are this what are these this person's feelings? Does this person have any feelings for Virgo? All right, well they're very insecure, and they hide their feelings, and they especially hide their insecurities. Um, they don't reveal, but they show them. I mean, unless you don't see them, some of you might be very confused about this person's emotions or actions toward you, but this person has an internal self-imposed prisoner kind of thing and they try not to show that but they kind of I, i'm seeing it and i'm letting you know let me see are there any other feelings but this person they're very balanced their emotions but how do they feel okay so yeah you're someone you're like a, a wish or a dream for this person i feel like that's why holding on something about you letting go i feel like this person will agree to if you want to end this in june will agree to it but at the same time they're going to sit back afterwards after say don't trust the words that's what i'm hearing virgo don't don't trust what this person says even if they agree to being in a relationship don't trust it um you have to actually it feels like you have to be the one to take the lead not all virgos are like that most virgos are in the yin energy and um, unless you're on the cusp of say, um, unless you're on the cusp of like Leo Virgo or Virgo Libra, uh, generally Virgos are not, you know, they don't generally take the lead in relationships. And it's not that they, it's just not often built that way you know there's some zodiacs that are leaders especially fire signs or mars placement signs okay you deserve love and calling in your soulmate so a lot of you are you know kind of like a, a lot of you are just no i don't want to do that i don't want to lead i don't want to tell someone how to be in a relationship i mean you should always express to someone how they you know what you need and what you you know like what you need or what you desire from them um and sometimes you do have to tell people you know this this is how i like things this is what i expect in a relationship you know um but some of you i do feel i will tell you okay now they're just changing it up here so they're telling me that this person knows that you deserve better than what they've been offering to you um but they don't want to let you go and i feel like there will be some kind of phone call of some sort calling in your soulmate energy i feel like this person is hoping and praying and wishing and and visualizing the two of you coming together well there's your there's your clue or coming back together i feel like that is something that's you know that they truly do want um let's see it just feels like a like a, a a childish like a hesitation unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the, the relationship going yeah so this person's kind of in this position of like they don't want to lose you but they know they know that this isn't going to work where they if they're going to sit in a position of just allowing you to do they have to do something they have to do something or else it is unrequited then it, it just deteriorates and it just dies they have to put in something so i mean a for effort even though it's tiny effort they are going to try to do something here um but i don't know if it's going to be enough for you okay passion so i do feel like this person yeah so there's a lot of physical passion for you like i said this this might be the type of person in a in a like a physical relationship with the passion aspect of it is off the charts but everything else you got to do all that yourself virgo you have to be the one to say jump when to jump if to jump all that stuff you know um it feels like this person is more or less showing up here at your beck and call whatever you want um so <laughs> if you say like i said if you tell them that i, I don't want to i'm not interested anymore they'll agree but they're not going to fully let you go if you tell them that you yes i do want to be with you they'll agree but they're not going to fully put all their effort in so <laughs> i guess at this point let's take a look at you virgo because i'm kind of curious like 
Part of us like, what the hell is this? Let me see what your energy. What's what are you gonna do? Or what what should Virgo? How should Virgo handle this situation? Let's ask that. How should Virgo handle this situation? Okay, you've got the moon, and oh, you have the two of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, um, I don't think you should try to commit to anything here with this person at all. There's too much, do you don't have enough information? When we have the moon, the moon is like, there's very little light that shines from the moon. It doesn't illuminate the entire thing. It's not everything's exposed. So I feel like, you know, if you want to be friendly with this person and just acquaintance-like, um, or even if you do want to be with this person, until you have all of everything's exposed, the two of pentacles in the reverse is like that's a struggle to commit this person you may need to also see that they struggle with that there's a some deep emotions um maybe some lies or deception as well not 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 to harm you but this person is um this is like a childlike like um you know if you ask a child you know did you break the lamp the child's gonna say no you know it's not because they want to harm you or hurt you or lie to you because they're vindictive it's that they want to protect themselves because they don't feel up to par like i said this person has some self-imposed prisoner victim mentality um insecurities deep insecurities i i just don't feel like you should commit to anything until you have all the information you need there may be a little bit of light shed maybe you're getting that from this reading but as far as asking spirits saying don't really put all your eggs in one basket here with this situation yeah now you've got the three of pentacles in the reverse this means lack of teamwork i wouldn't support this energy for yourself at this time yeah all these cards they're showing up in reverse ten of pentacles in the reverse this is like bankruptcy um you're gonna break the bank if you invest so much into someone who's not going to really reciprocate you know um because the the, the balance of power is off you want equality in relationships we you know we give and take and we take turns um you don't want to be the one that's standing there controlling every single thing and telling someone you know I mean, people need to come in grown up. Um, so yeah, maybe it might be a good idea for you to foreclose on this relationship, you know, um, and claim bankruptcy, like, oh, okay. But again, this is just some guidance and advice. You obviously do what you want. Um, let's see what the moon energy is here. moon message for virgo a time for healing and the answers you need are coming yeah so don't rush into anything here virgo nobody's coming in here and making some soap uh, uh, soapbox statements this person's not coming in here with these grand movements like i said they're not coming in with this whole bloody stump and what do i always say if somebody's i mean if they're coming in with a like just a oh i cut my i cut my pinky off uh, how's that is that enough no well because we we don't use what do we use our pinky for unless you're snorting coke or something you know at least cut a finger that's like dominant to show me put in some effort this person's putting in minimal effort they're going to put in minimal effort um that might not be enough for you okay and there's not a lot of facts or information here for you to so if you're in this position where you're healing and you're, you're going to stay the course with that that's probably the best choice for you um don't take that one little message that comes in from somebody um they and don't don't over <laughs> it goes back to the beginning of the reading as well use your logic not your emotions because if you hear from somebody um and it's just some of you might want to be with someone so much and you hear one tiny little thing you might over blow blow that out like blow it up to mean more than it is right use your logic think about this be objective um, look at the whole thing in context you know is this person coming in 
with like this small little apology because they're trying to re re reconcile and or is it or is it just a simple apology is this person coming in with like i miss you um are they just sharing how they feel or don't get don't read into something like oh i miss you um and then they don't say i want to see you or i miss you i want to see you but then they don't say i want to be with you you know what i mean you gotta like use your logic that's what i feel this message is it's a weird message communication is key there you go there's got to be more information so if someone comes in and you know someone that's you know you end something with and they come back reaching out and they say they miss you or something you say what do you miss what are you missing ask questions don't just be like oh i miss you too that's dumb you're not in high school you're not in grade school you know you could say that if you want but then you can say okay well you know, Gemini's the communicator. That's mercurial. So it's got to be like, oh, what do you miss? Why? Why do you miss me? What about me do you miss? What about us? What's going on? Get that information. You need to get somebody talking. So if they're just coming in with a little bit, you know, they mirror you. Right? So if you start talking, whatever you start doing, questions start, you start asking questions, not pressing interrogation questions, but you start trying to gather some information from this person about things. Get them talking to find out like, okay, I hear you. I see you. What do you mean? All right. I'm going to pull some Chinese signs, see what the message here is. All right. Year of the monkey. Year of the tiger. This could be you or your person. These are their Chinese signs of yours. Year of the rooster. Okay. Year of the ox. Year of the goat. Year of the rabbit. All right. We have the goat twice. Okay. The dragon, year of the dragon, and one more, please. And a year of the pig, okay? So that may or may not be your person. It could be both of you. It could be none of you. Don't worry about it. It's just doesn't mean the message is not for you. All right, let's move on to, let's see, we have 42 minutes here. Let's go straight away into your numbers and dates. Um, I want to find out when you'll be getting this sweet simple little message in the month of june from this particular person okay june okay sometime between june 2nd and june 8th so hmm well, some of you might have already received this message um, from last Thursday, and then we have until Wednesday. You may get the message, and for some of you, this will be on the 28th of June, okay, that you'll hear from someone. All right, let's see. Oh, boy. Okay, we've got Gemini, Aries, twice, Taurus, okay, somebody's 50. Hmm. Somebody's address is 3005. Um, we have an area code 312. Somebody was born in 1983. We have the 111. And we also have area code 515. All right, let's see. Okay, Sagittarius, Virgo, Aries, Cancer. Okay, somebody is 33. Someone's born in 78. Uh, somebody's 31. Um, somebody's address, 195. Oh, and 1980 of the year, 1980. Okay, so Pisces, you have Cancer, Taurus again, and then Virgo, 
I'm also seeing Sagittarius again and Scorpio. So we have, and uh, so they're giving me the number one zero one one. Somebody might be binary. I guess that's a binary. Um, somebody's forty seven. We also have the year twenty twenty two is going to be very significant and it's a very significant year. That's this year. Some of you might already be experiencing that or will be nineteen seventy one um, year. We also have September twelfth, September 9th. And also, um, they're giving me 27, 27. And I'm also getting 1990. Oh, I just saw Capricorn twice. So Capricorn, hello. All right, uh, Libra showing up here twice um cancer again and taurus always as usual all right 310 610 82 we have 36 and 76 okay all right let's get see what some charms are here oh also they're telling me 174 or 714 all right what are your what's virgo's charms oh can't pick it up so you've got a white heart pure love this is a pure somebody's got pure love for you here virgo pure absolute pure love okay might be a leo we've got a sun or a sundial maybe you have a sundial we also have um looks like a guitar maybe some acoustic stringed instrument um so maybe somebody's looking at a sundial or sun catcher do something with a sun catcher um and also somebody has like a love heart pendant that they wear a uh, heart-shaped pendant and then somebody might be a musician here's a dragonfly if you see a dragonfly anytime this week or the rest of this week this is definitely your message Okay, and they're also giving, oh, we've got the octopus here. So somebody likes seafood, I'm just hearing, or, del, uh, so or delicacy, certain certain seafood delicacies. Maybe that somebody likes octopus. Um, I definitely just said, uh, tell them this person just can't keep their tentacles off of Virgo. They like, you know, like this is like, I'm holding on to you for life suction cups. I'm holding on to you. I don't, it's kind of like, you know, I, I just see like a child getting a toy that they, they're really attracted to this toy, um, but they don't know how to use it. They don't know how to work it, but it's not worth throwing away because they see its value and they love it and they're attracted to it, but they don't know what to do with it. They don't know how to make it work. They don't know how to inter interact with this toy. And it's, it, there's something I feel, I don't know, for some this might be the way this person is, but for others, you're giving, up, giving off real mysterious vibes. Uh, some of you are not letting someone know how to be with you. Some of you are just kind of like, well, figure it out. <laughs> and this person sees something and there is something that they know is that, that they they just you're just on their mind you, they, you just can't let you go uh, but they don't know how to work operate you <laughs> they don't know how to because a lot of virgo is the hermit card um virgo you you're everything's deep down within and you're some of you are just loners even if you're in the public and you're out with people all the time you maintain distance always deep inside your emotions your feelings you, that you got stuff locked up in key and you're a bit of a mystery the, the um, Virgo at times can also be the high priestess which is all the mystery and the silence and the secrets you know so but you do that for a reason Virgo and we all know Virgo we know like you have insight a lot of insight you don't often reveal that insight you keep stuff to yourself and you tend to observe people you know a lot more than you say Virgo so much you're like an encyclopedia of answers and you study and you know so much but you don't reveal um, 
if you reveal you don't because you're humble Virgo and you don't want to come across to people as like you know everything um, you'd rather just kind of have this smug look on your face and you'll agree with people who are telling you things that you know about but deep inside you're like yeah I already know that <laughs> you have a lot of psychic ability Virgo so I kind of feel like um, that's the strongest message I can give about this reading that this person is willing to do whatever you're willing to do but they can't even initiate or figure anything out what you want what you like what would be because you kind of like in lock and key you're in hermit a lot of the time and they're like you're like a you're like a, an ex exquisite intricate puzzle uh, one of those one of those intelligence toys that people cannot really you're not meant for the dumb <laughs> people just don't generally know how you, you you're a bit like you're very unique and you have your quirks and, and people don't often I feel understand you and most of that is because you just don't reveal yourself so I feel like with this person it's like they know there's something there and they know or they'll feel that in June and they want to have that connection but they just don't know around you I feel there's a lot of intimidation because you, you you don't really give it the vibes off that anybody's or I don't know if you run tests on people maybe or you sort them out you observe you know um, Virgos can be in physically intimate relationships with people um, if they so choose if they they can do that without being in love with them it's not often something Virgo will do whatever Virgo feels they keep it deep down inside for the most part not all Virgos but for the most part because your placements play a role in that um, even if Virgo does f have deep feelings for someone and is in a physical intimate relationship with them Virgo will give off the impression that they're not interested and most of the time the men do that um, not all the women do that but most of the time the men but either way and people are sometimes like well, wait I'm so confused <laughs> or Virgo will once in a while uh, let something slip out that they have emotions or feelings or they share a, an emotion or feeling but it's not often Virgos don't wear their hearts on their sleeves um, so yeah interesting reading today Virgo <clears throat> not gonna lie I don't think I've ever gotten this message before anything like this so I don't know if that's gonna help you in any way to understand whoever this person is coming into your life in June or whomever you might already be connecting with but feels to me like um, something to definitely chew on for the rest of the day all right so can leave your reading there Virgo thanks for joining and I will see you guys tomorrow take care <laughs>